right now my house is one big AI experiment lab. Today's topic, prompt engineering. All depends on the questions you ask. Seven powerful prompting tips. You need to tell AI who you are. Please don't settle for the first try. Practice these steps, you'll get better every day. Welcome to AI Basics, the podcast where we break down artificial intelligence into bite-sized real-world conversations. I am Sukirti Gupta. I've had 30 years of experience in media and tech. But more importantly, I'm the mom of two curious nine-year-old girls. And let me tell you, right now, my house is one big AI experiment lab. Whether it's planning a birthday party or helping with the school speech, we're using chat GPT almost every day. Today's topic, prompt engineering. Why this? Because this word is popping up everywhere. It's the secret sauce to getting smarter responses from AI. So what is prompt engineering? It's simply the skill of giving better instructions to AI tools like ChatGPT so they understand what really you want. Same AI, but different results. All depends on the questions you ask. So today I'm going to share with you seven powerful prompting tips with real life examples. The first one is be as specific as you can. So instead of saying, tell me about climate change, what would we ask ChatGPT? Give me three ways Indian school kids can help reduce air pollution in their daily life. The sharper your question, the sharper the answer. Number two, set the tone. Chat GPT is very broad. Do you want it poetic? Do you want it professional? Do you want it casual? Do you want it funny? Chat GPT adapts. Write this like a heartfelt birthday toast for my mom. Make it sound like a shop tank pitch. Make this a speech or make this a podcast. Number three, break it down. Big questions equal big mess. Better to ask in steps. Let's suppose you're planning a blog. So first you will ask it to give you an outline for the blog. Maybe select the key points and now expand each point that you find useful with examples from Indian startups. Number four, give context. You need to tell AI who you are and what you're trying to do so that it can give you better results. I'm planning a 12 day trip to Singapore with two kids and I want ideas that aren't too hectic. Or I'm a mom looking for healthier lunchbox ideas that my picky eaters won't reject and I am vegetarian. Number five, control the length and the format. You can literally tell Jack GPT, write this as a poem, keep it under 80 words, use bullet points, write it as a paragraph, use emojis. You tell it, it listens. It is fantastic. Number six, you need to iterate and refine. Please don't settle for the first draft. So once you get your first draft, you say, now let's make this more fun. Let's remove this part. Let's add a pop culture reference. Here are some examples. Can you create more? Give me a version in English. Keep the 60% English. It's like co-writing with a very, very smart intent. And number seven, this is one of my favorites, add personal attitudes. It's my favorite hack. For a personal example, when I'm writing a speech, I give it my stories so that those are included when the speech is done. The result, it's a powerful, relatable speech that make kids laugh and think and even me say, oh, this is really about me. When you share your own life, even in just one life, the output becomes truly yours. So let's see this in action with a real world example. Suppose we needed to write a thank you note to a teacher. My basic prompt, write a thank you note for my child's teacher. Result, mm, generic. With all seven tips, this is how we would give the prompt. Write a short, heartful thank you note under 100 words for my daughter's fourth grade English teacher. She struggled with reading at the start of the year and now reads confidently thanks to the teacher's kind encouragement. Make it sweet but not overly emotional, something I can put on a handmade card. Add a quote about great teachers. Also mention that I'm a media professional and was really touched by how the teacher sparked a love for stories, just like I do for my audience. What do you get? You will get a warm, emotional and authentic note. Not something ChatGPT made up, but something you co-created. So next time you open ChatGPT, just don't type a question. Think like a storyteller, a teacher, a co-creator. Use these seven tricks and AI becomes your smartest partner. And yes, if you're super curious, check out the free prompt engineering for beginners course by Coursera and Deep Learning AI or the Google prompt engineering courses. Great if you want to go deeper. But honestly, if you just practice these steps, you'll get better every day. And hey, don't miss our next episode, how to teach kids how to think in the age of AI. This one's going to be fun and packed.